shaped differently. We wanted to see if it had any difference in uh, the way we can manage them and so forth. And what we notice is that because in this farm here, uh, they come up more because they lay eggs. So we have them. This is a B2 pond, this is where all the females are. For whatever reason, they seem to like this pond. They nest a lot on this side. So they spent last year moving sand to get more sand so they'd have more area to lay eggs. Because when they hit roots or rocks, they'd stop that nesting again. So they're trying to make that sand deeper to give the females a little better area to lay eggs. And those are islands. The plants aren't complete, but that helps filter the water and gives them uh, like shelter. They like to stay under there a lot. And then this is for aeration, of course. So pretty nice. This one they don't lay as much in. I don't know why. So they moved all the females to this pond. They're fully aquatic, so they don't really get out. And they're a very interesting species. They just stay in the in the ponds. I'm gonna get to see one of the sub-adult juveniles, one that they've hatched out here. So they've hatched over 700 eggs and they got 200 still going. Those pictures we saw earlier, so pretty neat. An awesome job they're doing. So we got Tom with the pole to scare them and Jonathan with the net. See if we can get one come up oh. they've been doing this so much they got smart oh, there's one he came up over here scared him to the wrong side Yay! Patience. Patience. Alright, well, we're gonna get to meet one. From the Pennies Now Eye. The Hickety Turtle. Give him a bath first so he looks good. So, the Hickety. One of the most endangered turtles in the world, and you can see it's. It's uh, feet, right? It's like flippers. They're highly webbed because these are completely aquatic. So they don't really come out on land. They stay submerged. There's Jonathan. <laughs> so these are pretty cool. Highly adapted to an aquatic lifestyle. And he said this one's about four years old. And they got that little pig snout. Looks so much like a soft shell turtle, which are also highly aquatic. So when this guy gets big enough, they'll release him into the wild. So these are just really adapted to an aquatic, and they're vegetarians, so they only eat uh, fruits and vegetables, no meat. So that's interesting as well for an aquatic turtle. So you can see his web feet really well right now. So right, that's going to give him good ability to swim as much as they want. And they don't ever have to come out to bask or anything, so they just stay in the water the whole time. So they're completely adapted to their whole life in the water. They can't walk well on land, so they don't migrate across land very well, or at all as far as we know. So, very unique turtle. <laughs> cool. Do you want to hold it, Justin?